Hello, friends. I'm hoping people are on. I am not able to see this on my computer for some reason. Oh, good. Hi, Beverly. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. My name is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm excited that you're here with me today. We are going to be creating a fancy border card. And I've got a few border card ideas for you. And we're going to talk about a few other things. But um, I am excited to share this. So before we get started, I want to just go over a few things. First, if you want these calendars, these calendars are free to anybody who is part of my email list. So if you sign up for my emails... There's a link below the video that tells you to sign up for my emails or gives you the link. You do have to make sure you confirm the sign up. So you'll sign up, then you'll get an email. Oh no. Um, sorry, you guys. I got a low battery signal. Anyways, you'll get an email saying that you need to confirm that you've signed up for my emails. Once you confirm that, you'll get access to several calendars, my past calendars, plus the one coming up this month. So um, I've already emailed out the October inspiration calendar that's already gone in the, into email. And throughout the month, I'll be emailing this out again in case you sign up mid-month or whatever. Anyways, that's how you get these creative inspiration calendars for free from me. You can print them, you can keep them so that anytime you need a little inspiration, you can go back through them and find ideas. So that's these. And we're going to make the fancy border card today. Each Tuesday, I go live on YouTube at 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And um, you'll notice each of the Tuesdays, we make whatever's listed here. So we're going to make that today. Also... New host code started yesterday. If you want to place an order with me, September 27th through October 27th, 2021, you can choose one of these gifts for free. So the Amaryllis Bloom stamp set, the Seasons of Fun stamp set, or the Summer Shadows dies. Now, the Summer Shadows dies are while supplies last. I don't have... I have a lot of them, but I don't have like tons and tons. So if you want these dies, which are a free item with celebration, um, and you want to get them from me, then you, you would need to place your order to do that. So you place a $50 online order or more before tax and shipping. You get one gift per household. This host code can't be combined with any other host code. So I have a new host code coming out October 1st for an online virtual class. And that host code only covers the online class. This host code is for these freebies. So if you're um, interested in getting one of these for free with a $50 order, you'll place your order. You'll get a thank you email from my admin, Tracy. And she'll ask you which one of these you want. And you'll just reply to her email. And then towards the end of the promotion period, we will begin to mail these out. So you won't get it instantly, um, but we'll begin to mail them out. So don't expect to add these to your order when you're processing your Stampin' Up! order. These will be mailed directly from my office. Um, we also always um, give a thank you card when you place an order with us. So we're making thank you cards to go with your gift. All right, that's all of my advertisements at the moment. Uh, we are almost finished with Celebration, which is a promotion Stampin' Up! runs every year. And um, you only have a couple more days to either purchase the starter kit and you pay $99 plus tax. Your shipping is free. You get to choose $125 in product plus a free bundle. Um, there's a selection of bundles Stampin' Up! is offering for free. And you do all that when you purchase the starter kit. So if you're interested in purchasing the starter kit, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know if you have any questions. And um, thank you for those of you who are new joining in. We welcome you. I'm glad you're here. Okay, we're going to make festive border card. Now, this 
stamp set and die set make it super easy to make kind of fun, different um, cards that have a unique border edge. The thing I love about this stamp set is it covers all your bases, right? You've got apples for fall, you've got witch hats for October, uh, Halloween, and you've got Christmas lights, a garland with Christmas lights, and sentiments to go with it, including a to from. So if you wanted to make a cute tag or something, you have that. These are the festive, festive finishes dies. So I want to tell you a little bit about these dies and show them to you really quick. They coordinate with these images. So you've got a little ghost, a little apple, some little lights. These are like little Christmas lights. There's a little, um, this cuts out like a uh, twig branches. And then there's little leaves. And then there's this little um, image that fits the blessed, the festive and bright, the spooky. So you could use any of those. And then there's these. These cut the edges of the borders. So we're going to talk about these for just a second because... Miss Deborah, who's joining us live today, is actually the one that pointed this out to me, which I think is so funny because I'm supposed to be the demonstrator, right? But she like, she's an attention to detail person. And for those of you who might be new here, Deborah Walker, who is on our chat right now, she is my assistant that comes and helps me in my office. Um, so she comes once a week and helps me. And we were, I was showing her all these cool things and we were talking about stuff with the new class that I'm releasing on October 1st. And she pointed this out to me. So on these dies, there are little number and letters. So see here, it says, you may not be able to see it. It says 2A. So 2A has a partner, 2B. So that is how you know which ones to cut together for each image. So you line them up on each side of the image and then you can cut them out. So there's 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3A, 3B. And that's how you know. Now, the rest of it, you just have to kind of like line them up so that you know which ones. Like this one I can tell is the witch hat because it has these little pointy dilly bobbers here that are coming out on each side. Okay, so that's how these coordinate. You're gonna see me use them though, so don't worry. All right. Now, why am I focusing on these and sharing this stuff with you? Because my class that's launching on October 1st uses this bundle. So my new online card classes are virtual. When you place a $50 order, you use a specific host code that you'll see on the first and you will get the class for free. It is a $50 class that if you are a demonstrator or you're out of the country, you can pay $50. But if you order from me for $50, then you can use the special host code and you can get the class for free. That's this Friday. We use this bundle in that class. And here are a couple of extra ideas for you. So there's this one, which was a swap card from Jay's Little Bear. Jay, I'm not sure how to say her last name. She made this card and we're actually gonna case this card today using the apples. And I just think it is so cute. And it was just one more super cute idea using the festive borders. And then this is a card that I made for my lovely stampers. That's my team, the lovely stampers. They are um, amazing, first of all. And I went live in our, v in our exclusive lovely stampers group and we made this card together. So I hung out with them and the, the video was actually like almost two hours long. And so if you purchase my online class, you will get um, access to part of this video for free. It's just an add-on additional video. I didn't plan to add it, but I thought you should see how this card was made. So both of these cards use this festive and bright bundle. All right. And after this video is over, there'll be links to all the supplies I used today if you want to purchase any of them. So we're going to make a case or copy of this card. 
So I'm going to set it right here. We've got Poppy Parade cardstock as our base. And this cardstock is cut. And all the measurements will be listed over on my blog when this is over. Give me about an hour and it'll all be updated there. This is cut at seven and a quarter by five and a half. And then I scored it at four and a quarter from this edge. Okay, let me grab my bone folder. All right. And then we have Granny Apple Green cardstock. And this piece is cut at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. If you're wondering why I'm taking it off the screen, it's because I'm having to measure it. So we're gonna layer this piece right here on top. And then this is a piece of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. This is a huge stack of paper that you can get for free when you place a large enough Stampin' Up! order to get the Stampin' Rewards, and then you can use Stampin' Rewards to get this. It's in the annual catalog, and I just love it. It's a big old humongous pack of paper with all kinds of fun patterns, and I, I'm in love. So this is cut at two and a half by five. So we're gonna just, I've already made a mistake. I know you're not surprised. I was supposed to add my ribbon. Gosh darn it all. Okay, it's okay, we'll fix it. Um, nobody, nobody freak out, just don't freak out. Okay, now we've got a piece of four by five and a quarter granny apple green that's gonna go inside of our card. I was pushing a little too hard there on that stampin' seal. Okay, and then we gotta do our stamping. So this piece is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I am going to use the apples, because, hello, green and red. Why wouldn't we? And I'm gonna just go ahead and place this in my stamparatus, because using the Stamparatus when you're stamping something that you wanna make sure you get a really nice, clean image of is important. I love my Stamparatus. All right, so I gotta decide which way's up and down. I don't think it really matters, but to me, this is the right way to go. So we're gonna stamp this and then we're gonna die cut the edge off, okay? It moved a little. There we go. I'm gonna use Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I have to tell you guys a little story time while we're stamping, die cutting, and coloring. And if you're new, if you're brand new to my channel, you don't know this probably yet, but I like to tell stories and chit chat while I make my cards. If that's not your jam, if you don't like it, we totally understand you'll be missed. You don't have to stick around. Um, we get it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but we love hanging out and story timing, don't we? Don't we friends? Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Rate markers. And of course we're gonna use Granny Apple Green, light and dark, and Poppy, where's my light one? There it is, Poppy Light and Dark. And we're just gonna sit here and color these. And you know what, we're gonna need a little bit of, we'll use Soft Suede Light and Dark as well. And if you're wondering where these labels come from, these labels, I make these labels. You can get them as a download. They're $7.95 for a download. You can print them, obviously, as often as you need to. Um, and you just need a 3 8 inch circle punch to punch them out. Um, and you could just print them on regular paper and then put a little glue dot under them. And my, I forget who it was that had this genius idea. It might have been Miss Deborah. But rather than taking the label off, if your marker runs out and you need a new, um, you need a new marker, just take the cap off that has your label and put it on the new marker. Hello, genius. 
So anyway, that's where those labels come from. They are in my shop. There is a link below the video, I think, that has that links directly to the label download. But it is a download. I don't mail anything out, just so you know. All right, so we're going to start with our dark colors. Well, with my dark green. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do it dark next to the apple where the leaf kind of like meets the apple. So as I color all these little leaves, we're gonna just chit chat a little bit. So um, I, I have been talking about this new thing I'm doing and it is basically the online card class that I've been talking about. And you're gonna see a video detailing everything about it probably either later today or tomorrow. Now, I'm super excited about it, but I've already had a few questions from people who have been with me a long time. And their first question is, so does that mean there's no more card kits? Yes, that is correct. There's no more card kits. It's virtual. So um, really this change came about for several reasons, but the main reason is that it just makes it easier to serve my community in uh, a really good way, A. B, um, the online class is going to include more than stamping and more than a class. There'll be like an exclusive at home with Wendy video, a good deeds together video. And again, I'll be explaining all of that in the video that I send out. So be watching for that. Um, and I'm trying to remember what, where I was going with this. So, <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you get old. Um, the bottom line is I'm super, super excited about these new classes that I'm going to be providing and doing, and I can't wait for you guys to see them. Um, we use the festive and bright border dies and stamp set and the joyful life stamp set in our very first class, which is October 1st through the 10th. And I had the best time creating. The thing is with my kit classes, oh, I know the biggest question I get is, am I still gonna do the paper parties? Yes. Yes, I'm still doing paper parties with the release of every new catalog. They will be called paper party retreats. We are gonna be adding to them and making them even better than they already are. And I'm really excited about that. So there'll be three events a year paper parties that you can still get kits and goodies in the mail from me. Um, okay, back to what I was talking about with the class. Now I forgot what that was. Lord have mercy helper. So, um, so that's what's going on with that. Okay, let's talk about Pismo Beach. Hubby and I went to Pismo Beach. We might skip back to the class stuff if I have a thought and remember something. Kind of scatterbrained today. I have a lot going on. <laughs> We've got volleyball for my kid and it's distracting. Okay, so Pismo Beach. My husband and I went to Pismo Beach last weekend for our 15 year wedding anniversary. Uh, if you don't already know, we live in California. Pismo Beach is quite a ways from us, about five, five, five and a half hour drive. Um, we drove down there and had a great time except for Friday night Friday well even then it was enjoyable but it was sad my husband got sick um he we think it's something he ate um so he was up a lot in the night um with his tummy and thankfully no nothing coming out of the top you know what I'm saying uh <laughs> Because that, that would have been bad. But um, just really upset stomach and unsettled. And so we spent most of the day Friday and, and into the night Friday evening just resting, laying in bed, watching movies, and doing nothing. Which honestly wasn't horrible. That was perfectly fine. I just hated that he felt bad. Um, it would have been nice if he felt good and we still did those things so I was super sad about that for him because what is funny is he never 
knock on wood. He never gets sick. Like the dude, especially with his stomach, he has got like an iron gut and he's just never sick. So it was such a bummer that he was not feeling well. So it passed, thankfully, and Saturday we were able to, like, go out and do some things. But we have some other funny things that, well, that really wasn't funny. But there was some funny things that happened. Like, we went to this botanical garden, and and the lady in the shop, if my husband was here, he'd be cracking up. The lady in the shop at the botanical, so when you got to the botanical garden, it was beautiful. Like, the front of it was beautiful. There was a little building that looked fairly new and there were all these really beautiful succulents and some flowers. It was just gorgeous. And we were like, wow, this place is going to be awesome. So you go in, you pay five bucks. She gives us this little map and she's telling us how there's all these different flowers from different regions and blah, 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 blah. And she's basically pitching us the, the gardens, right? So it's five bucks. We pay our five bucks. We head in. I missed an apple. Um, we go in, you guys, we literally walked for a mile and a half on a dirt path with weeds. There was no botanicals. The few, um, succulents that we did see looked like they were dying and needed water. And we had the best laugh out of this. We laughed so hard. Because I was like, these people have quite the racket. They make it all pretty up front. My husband said, oh, yeah, the prettiest thing we've seen was up front when we got here. And we were just cracking up about it because it was like we just kept walking and walking and walking and expecting to see a botanical somewhere, uh, a flower with some color on it somewhere. We found, I am not exaggerating when I say this to you, we found one one flower and it was a wild flower it was a dandelion everything else was dirt and weeds and we were like okay wow this is bad uh it was I gotta find my right little dye here it was really bad I was like, these people are raking in some money by lying to some folks about what they got going on. Uh, this is not it. Where is it? Help me out, Deborah. She knows, she knows which ones go to which. This is the witch hat, I can tell. This is, it's gotta be one of these. 3A. Yeah, 3A, 3B. Yeah, 3A, 3B. That's what I have. Why aren't they lining up? Oh, it's this one. Okay, never mind. Got it. Okay. So, um, anyway, we're... I gotta get my stamp and cut. The rock. The big old rock. Does anyone else name their stamp and cut and emboss machine? All right, so the botanical garden, back to that story. So we're at the garden, we're walking through the whole thing. It's fairly hot. I'm wearing a, a pretty little skirt and a nice shirt and I'm sweating, like legit sweat, not just like, oh, a little brow perspiration. No, like my pits are sweating. I am sweating y'all. And <laughs> I wore my nice flip-flops, like my Clark's nice flip-flops. So those are getting all dirty and no botanical to be seen. We were like, this is pretty bad. So, um, we, Get finally get all the way around to the other end of this thing. And my husband, okay, let me back up. In our marriage, my husband has always done this thing where he likes to try and trick me about stuff. Like 
telling me something ridiculous, but making it believable so that I'm like, really? I, and I'll give you the example here in just a minute. So for years, he would trick me with stuff. He would be like, tell me something ridiculous, and I would fall for it hook, line, and sinker. And look, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. So um, for years, like something would happen or he would tell me something and I would fall for it. Well, I finally got like wise to this, right? And I'm like, so now I never fall for any of his shenanigans. Um, by the way, even though this has this die that, cut, that cuts these, I wanted to use something a little wider because I'm going to use two of the sentiments. Okay. So for years, he's done this to me where he says things. Well, now when he does it, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like I always know. I'm just, you know, I'm used to it. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So we're walking through the botanical garden. We get to the very end and he's like, look at those trees. And we look over and there's these big oak trees and there's like these weird nests inside the oak trees. Well, they look like nests. They have all this like junk gathered up in the top of them. It's not all the way at the top. It's kind of like at the base of the tree where the tree opens up, there's like all this weird stuff. So he says, look, those are badger nests. I'm almost embarrassed to tell you guys this. Those are badger nests and me being the blushing bride of 15 years and totally gullible says, really? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And he's like, look, they're over here too. And then it hits me. There's no badgers here. Badgers don't live here. And I was like, those are not badger nests. And he starts cracking up. He is laughing so hard. And he's like, I can't believe you fell for that. You never fall for my stuff. So it made him really happy. I totally ate it, fell for it, the whole nine yards. So that was fun for him and, <laughs> and exciting for him that he got me. Um, and then I got to find my dimensionals. And that was our time at the Botanical Garden. It was quite interesting. We did pick up a card for his mom, even though I make cards. Um, I wanted to get her a quilled card. I'm sure most of you have probably heard of quilling. Um, she did a little bit of quilling for a while. She has all the goodies, but I don't know if she's been doing it anymore. She kind of stopped when um, Kevin's grandma fell. Um and, and is now living at her house. So she's been busy with that. But um, yeah, she does quilling. And so I we found a card at the Botanical Garden in their little gift shop that um, had quilling cards. So I bought her, we bought her one of those for her birthday. It's coming up. Hopefully she doesn't watch, she usually doesn't watch my videos. So hopefully she will not watch this one and now know that. <laughs> Um, I do also have a video that's going to come out at some point of Kevin's grandma with her 90, 99th birthday cards. She got a bunch of cards from you guys, customers, team members, friends, family sent her birthday cards for her 99th birthday. And I do have a video that I'm going to post eventually, um, on my YouTube channel. So you guys will be able to see that as well. She's just the sweetest, cutest little lady. Anyway, so all of that is, I, there's more silly Pismo Beach stories. We've had, a, we had a couple of good laughs, but we had a great time. We enjoyed the getaway. We enjoyed being by the ocean. Our room was gorgeous. We had a view of the ocean. We slept with the um, windows open the entire time, or the, not the windows, the sliding glass door. Um, we had a balcony. So we slept with that open the whole time and to listen to the ocean. The only bummer is that it was very um, foggy the whole time we were there. So that was kind of a bummer. I was really hoping for cool weather but sunshine. And the only day there was any sunshine was the very first day we were there. So we're glad to be home where it's sunny and no fog. But we were super happy for the getaway as well. 
and there's our card. So now, if you buy, if you place an order, and you get access to the festive and bright online card class, not only are you going to have the ideas from the class, you have all three of these as well. Cute, right? So stinking cute. So I want to thank Jay, who made this card, to give me the idea for this card, because I love casing cards. It's so fun. And then this one was just a Wendy original. Of course, you always know it's a Wendy original when there's like way more on it than necessary, and I do all kinds of fun ink blending and splattering and all the things. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me. Don't forget to visit the links below the video. Uh-oh, hopefully, hopefully you can still hear me and see me. Um, don't forget to visit the links below the video to sign up for my emails because then you can get these calendars in your email for free. And uh, um, my card class will come out on October 1st and you can place an order with a special host code for the card class then. And then um, you'll get an email from us with a coupon to access them. So fun, fun stuff. And don't forget my current host code offer that goes till October 27th. When you place a $50 order or more using this host code, you get to choose one of these items for free in addition to whatever else you get. So um, you'll also get a thank you card from us as well. Thank you all for hanging out with us for a little while. I so enjoy spending time with you. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments section below. About an hour from now, there will be a blog post up with this video along with measurements for the card that I made today links for everything I've talked about, more information about my new online card class and um, uh, and product links for you to purchase any of the products that you saw me use today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.